Hi, I'm Eric Martin with Board Game Geek. I'm here with Todd Rowland from Alderac Entertainment Group. We're going to be looking at Adventure Time Love Letter. Yes. A new version of Seiji Kenai's Love Letter. Mm hmm. Uh, with some funky packaging. With some funky packaging. We've got the Jake bag, which has been, uh, been a big draw here at the show. Right. We get a lot of people squealing and coming up to get the Jake bag. <laughs> uh, so yes, Adventure Time Love Letter. It's uh, our latest one. It's out now as of Gen Con. It'll be in stores very shortly. Uh, it was a, uh, obviously a deal between us and Cryptozoic and Cartoon Network. Right. Uh, we, uh, we showed Love Letter to Cartoon Network, to some of their licensing VPs and things like that. And they really enjoyed the game. Uh, right. From what we were told, they were playing it over and over at their offices. Which is like people, most people who Yeah, exactly. And they really got into it, and they definitely wanted to do it with us. And if you look at the cards, which is uh, the fun part here, we'll take that out and take out some of the cards. They had us do the Love Letter characters as, I mean, do the Adventure Time characters as Love Letter characters. So you'll notice that they are the guard, and they have different titles in some cases, like hero, oh, yeah. there's companion princess, up here. companion, gossip, princess, but they're still the basic love letter cards. Right. You know, and the game still functions pretty much the same except for one twist. So you can win like normal by having the highest value. Right? Obviously, Princess Bubblegum is the, the top, but right. however you win that way. The alternate victory condition is what we call the buddy victory. So Finn and Jake, of course, are the heroes of the show. And they are also the, the prince card. And if you play Finn and cause someone, even yourself, whoever you target, to discard Jake, you win the game immediately. Because you okay. got the buddies together. And vice versa. If you play Jake and they discard Finn, you win immediately. So it's just a tiny little twist, but it makes it definitely a bit more adventure time. That's right. than normal. And so uh, we're very excited about it. Uh, it's, we think it's going to appeal to a lot younger players. It's going to bring in more kids. It's going to bring in more of the 20-somethings who just really enjoy Adventure Time. Right. And um, we're very excited about it. Well, it's kind of the same thing where you had Batman Love Letter reaching out Batman to a different Love audience. Yep, absolutely. Um, and uh, following this, uh, everything's been green-lighted, and we will have the Archer edition of Love Letter from, from the FX show. It's going to be Archer Once You Go Blackmail. Okay. And it is all about, uh, the theme of that one is finding blackmail on Mallory, because you're a new agent, and your test to be a member of the agency is to find dirt on Mallory, which we, she will then immediately burn once you're hired. Okay. And then um, the twist on Archer is that uh, the hidden card, if you remember when you play Love Letter, you deal out the cards to everybody, and then you take one card, put it off to the side to have that little bit of information that you don't know. Right. In the Archer version, that's called the mole. And many cards have abilities that will affect the mole. So you can swap your card with it. You can compare it to other people. It's got a lot of hidden information going on in that. I'm being a spy game. All right. Well, thanks very much for the overview. Right. It's kind of amazing to see this continue. And, <laughs> it is and up and up. And I mean, as long as it keeps going, uh, we're going to try and do as much as we can with it. So. All right. Good thanks. luck.